So today we continue with tutorial 23. Uh, remember that we have succeeded in coming this far. We can add new item. We also have an edit button. We already tested it and it was able to show a model pop-up for edit. But we say that we need to use uh, an anchor tag and we are going to use a custom JavaScript file and use JavaScript code to launch the pop-up form, the edit uh, model form instead of using a button, uh, a, a custom a, a button. So what we need to do is to create a custom JavaScript file. So I'm going to, at this point, shift this all the way to this place. And now you have the procedure right here to follow. Let me uh, make, uh, okay, yeah. So we'll write a custom JavaScript file and write on click event uh, when the when the, the edit button is clicked to show the 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 the, the model edit model button. So your JavaScript file will be created inside a the static folder. The static folder is inside the SRC main resources uh, uh, folder. So just go to order. When you go to order, just choose JavaScript. You can see JavaScript source file. So you can go next. I want to call it main.js, main.js, all right. So this main.js, we are going to write a code to show the modal edit form when the, the button, the button, the edit button is clicked. All right, so um, we've created it. In the student page, we need to add a link to this file. So we have the link here, which is in this way. So let's go to the student.html file. Normally, it's good to add the link at the end of this, this one. So we have script slash script and the type is equal to equal to test JavaScript. Uh, SRC is equal to uh, dot dot slash static slash main dot js because the the static folder always is where the the system uh, uh, spring is going to look into the static folder to look for uh, the file we are looking for to, to look for the file we created so that is why we have it here also we need to stealth time leaf that there's a file like this because when this is uh, published to the server, then time leap may not understand this relative URL. So we have to use uh, time leap src. So in this way, we are telling time leap where to find the item. And I told you to specify a link. You use the add symbol, and in this case, you have add. Uh, at static uh, main dot js. So this is how to tell time leaf where to find it. Again, you have it here. So, so perfectly good. So make sure you get it right. I'd say this in orange because it will be really tough if you don't get it right. It's not going to work. Okay, so let's go to write the custom code in here. So again, um, we have the document that's ready. Uh, documents dot ready function okay so now the function will be subject if we click on the edit button, it's going to run an event, and that event is going to show the edit model form. So we are going to select uh, dollar, uh, sorry. Uh, we are going to select, let me make room here so that, okay, so we are going to select the, the table, so dot, table, dot. Now we need to select also, the class of the edit button. So the class of the edit button is uh, btn, the btn, 
and we go to do the uh, dots on dots. And sometimes I mix this up. Dot on click. So when it's clicked, we are going to run a function. I hope I'm not mistaken. Okay, so yeah. So this syntax coloration helps you know when you are go going wrong. So the, the function, once it's not marked in this color, know that there's something wrong. So I'm going to take out this. We are going to run a function, and this function will take the events. Okay, so I'm going to make this function here. So let me close this one with semicolon. All right, so this is where we are. So this means that when the button inside the table is clicked, what is going to happen? We show the edit model. So I'm going to say, I'm going to select the, this time I'll select it by the ID and not by the class. Edit model, um, yeah, dot model. Okay, perfect. Now, if I don't use prevent default, Maybe it's not going to work, but I'm going to explain to you what the prevent default uh, does after now. So event the prevent default. Remember that we do a get. The first thing, if you are doing a D, the first thing we are doing is we get get the items, and then we post it, update it. So two things: get it and post it. So if we don't use the prevent default, what is going to happen is that it's going to do the get and then display the data for us as a response in a page. So after now, maybe we remove the, uh, the, the prevent default and see what happens. All right, so at this point, uh, try to remove it and rerun it, test the application and make sure it display, displays a model form. So I'm going to test the application at this time. Hopefully, everything goes fine. So now we want to make sure that the form is displayed. So let's go back to our, applica our application. So let's go back to student list. I'm going to refresh this page. I'm going to click on edit. Nothing happens. So let me just troubleshoot. So it says fail to load resource main.js. Yeah. So that's a problem. So let's go to solve it, solve this problem. So um, let's go to student HTML. So let's say src main uh, static main.js is okay. Mm -hmm. Static main.js. So what I may do. Um, Try to cover up this one to see. Mm -hmm. So everything is okay as much as I know, except that uh, maybe I'll try to remove this trailing. Simply rerun it again to see. <coughs> this time I'm going to check on the page to see if we are missing out something. <coughs> Okay, so so this is where the problem tends to be coming from. Oh, so we have JS here. Wow. So we have JS. Oh. So we 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 have we need to put we needed to have created a folder called JS, but that is that does not matter. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just remove this static from here and I'm going to run it. So I, I didn't put it inside a folder, I just put it on its own inside a static folder. But normally we create a folder in the static folder called JS and also create another folder CSS. And inside these folders we place either CSS files or JavaScript files. So, okay, so let's go back. I'm going to refresh this page. Hopefully that error uh, goes away. So click edit. Okay, perfect. So let's close this. So now our edit is working. 
we use now we are using the the JavaScript, the custom JavaScript file we created. We are using it to load the model. So in that custom JavaScript file, we need to write a code to return to get the 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 the, the record that is clicked and then load it into this form. That is what we are going to do in tutorial twenty in tutorial 24. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe and also leave me a comment if this has been informative for you.